I don't actually know whether or not this is swearing or not and I try not to swear but I have to say I find this so bloody hard. In this video I am going to talk about something which I struggle with every single day. Normally from the moment I wake up right to when I go to sleep and you probably struggle with this as well. My name's Inwills and welcome to the In Crowd. Whenever I have a concept for a video or something that I would like to talk about, I instantly start to jot down ideas and then try to make a script and then find that the script sounds absolutely pathetic and I feel that the video is stupid and then I delete it all and that's probably connected to what I want to talk to you all about today because this thing I struggle with every single day and I think it's the thing that has the biggest impact on my life and I even at this point it's impacting on me and influencing me and I feel that I have to say to you all if you're watching this I know it's pathetic and I know it's stupid and I know I shouldn't but I can't help myself at the moment and if there was one thing a lot of people ask me what would you like for Christmas and I think if I could have this one thing I would have chosen to do that um, and have it all wrapped up and given to me in a little box that I can keep and treasure forever but unfortunately I don't think anyone can actually give this to me it's something that I have to give myself and something that I continually work on and hopefully am developing. But I have to say again, at times it is really hard. Mm. Before I get down to it, and yes, I am using delaying tactics, please consider liking, commenting and subscribing to this channel. It only takes a single click and it would mean so much to either myself or any of the other YouTubers that you watch. And if you would like to provide some additional support or extra support, then the link to my Patreon page is down below. Okay, enough time wasting. Let's get on with it. I, do you know, in front of me now, I have a full script to read to you. And I just know that I'm going to start to talk and it's just all going to go out of the window and I'm ending up just waffling on for the whole video but thank you for bearing with me I do appreciate it okay then so what is it that I struggle with every single day well it's something quite simple and it's self-confidence or self-belief and I know that many of you probably struggle struggle with this as well but I do find that in it really impacts on my everyday life to such a great extent that sometimes even doing videos like this or leaving the house or flat as I live in is really difficult because of it. I constantly and I say this in, in complete truth, I constantly worry about what people are thinking of me or think about me or talking about me or whispering about me. I, I, I feel that all the time people are making comments and although I, I do try to react very positively when people give me positives, it only takes one negative, one small comment which or something that I actually perceive as negative and that's it. I'm plunged into a swirling vortex of negativity. I constantly judge myself through the interactions of other people and I'm trying all the time to be positive and battle my way through it but sometimes the war is actually being lost and it requires so much inner strength for me to actually pull myself out of that vortex and continue. So 
when when does it happen and hopefully if i can communicate that to you it'll give you some idea of the impact it has okay then so i mentioned that it starts it happens throughout the day and one of the reasons one of the situations that i really struggle with is would you believe what to wear i face this issue every single day or what to wear and every morning i look at the clothes that i've ironed and i'm going to wear and i wonder what people will think about what i'm wearing i try to keep my outfit very dull very drab in an attempt not to draw attention to myself i don't want to do that because that in my mind um encourages people to make comments to me or about me i constantly see these people with different color hair or bright socks or a fancy shirt and i sort of like long and wish to be able to do that and to actually put myself out there and say i like wearing this or i'm proud but sadly i can't do it and sometimes i've bought a fancy shirt or uh, a bright pair of socks or even something that I perceive that I shouldn't be wearing at my age and I have that moment of confidence to buy it and it's still hanging up in the wardrobe with the price tag on or in the drawer because I just cannot bring myself to wear it the and there's loads of these situations and I'm just sort of like targeting a few for you. Social gatherings are oh, what a nightmare. I, I try to avoid these as much as humanly possible. And sometimes I think I even come across as being rude or antisocial. And people do say to me all the time, they say, you're such a positive person. You're somebody who really sort of like engages with life. But that is a front. That is me acting. Well, deep inside or when I close the door, when I get by myself, then it's almost like, oh, and I can suddenly start to be myself again. And and when I say that, I'm probably not myself in that situation behind closed doors. I'm probably letting the self-doubt and the self-confidence sort of like bubble to the surface. And social gatherings, not only am I worried constantly about what people think of me at that social gathering, I'm also really scared of what strangers might think of me and I actually find it really difficult to walk down a street because if I walk down a street and I suddenly hear somebody laughing, then I automatically think they're laughing at me and sort of like head down. I, I like to have my hood up so that people can't see me and I can't, it's almost as I'm blinkered, but then I worry about what people are going to be saying about me walking down the street with a hood up. I don't wear hats because I think I look stupid in hats and then people will comment about it. And honestly, it's just constant coming in from all directions. And you might think, what on earth is he doing creating a video about this? And honestly, I, I get so about, I blog, I stream, I create content for the YouTube, I podcast and I really have to push myself to put content out there and there's some arenas um, which are scarier because they're more live so things like blogging on YouTube I'm getting better with because I don't want to remove the comment section but I'm trying to build up strategies how to deal with the negative feedback things like reddit and switch and um, twitch are very scary because I'm constantly putting myself out there and it's live and I think there's a different community there and I have a great community on Twitch and I really appreciate them completely but it just takes one person or even worse one comment and I probably react to it extremely the wrong way and it's not how it's meant 
but it just plunges me into that vortex of negativity. I do, I do know, and I do give the advice that, you know, videos, Twitch, blog posts are not to do with numbers. They're not, it's not to do with enjoyability. It's like, it's, it's to do with enjoyability. It's not to do with numbers or views, etc. And I give that advice so easily to other people, but I just cannot accept it myself. I, I do enjoy it. I do enjoy doing it, otherwise I wouldn't do it. But I want, I want people to, and this is going to sound really strange and it's coming halfway through the video and perhaps I should have started off with this. I want people to accept me and like me and and I think that's how I communicate. That's what I'm feeling that numbers are. The, the number of people I get, oh, it impacts so much when people stop speaking or block me or say that they don't want to be around me anymore. That really has a huge um, impact on me. So rather than finishing this video on this sort of like depth of doom and and gloom what what am i doing what am i doing and please if you have any suggestions that i can do then please do share them with me and i would really appreciate it um i i really understand and i think this is where this video comes from is that i identify that i really struggle with this but i also need to learn how to stop doubting myself and move forward and, you know, I say at the end of every stream, you know, be who you are, say what you think, because the people who mind don't matter and the people who matter don't mind. And I really need to start to take those thoughts on board. So what am I doing? Well, I'm trying to react differently to negativity because it sets off my anxiety when I hear something negative. I tend to be aggressive because my body is into that fight or flight, my reptilian brain is engaged. And this tends not to be the best response. And one thing that I really remember my clinical psychologist talking to me about when I was, um, you know, recovering or, or dealing with anxiety was that he said to me one day, he said, you really are quite funny. You should use that more. And I often think this might be a hidden strength that I has. And please, please, I'm not suggesting for one moment that I'm the next Jimmy Carr, thank goodness. But, you know, I'm wondering whether or not funny, being funny or humorous is actually one of the best responses. You know, people often say nasty or negative things to get a response. And I think I'm trying to develop this humorous response, not being negative to somebody else in doing it, not being sarcastic, but trying to laugh it off or trying to think, yeah, so, 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 and so. I, I, analytics are the bane of my life. They really are. And despite people saying, ignore them and don't look at them, I need that. I think I need those numbers as an indication of my success and to constantly rate myself about it. And I suppose it's just like people sort of like post a picture on Instagram and want subs and likes and views, etc., etc. And I've, I really have to work on this one. I, I can't stop looking at them, but I do need to stop reacting personally to them. You know, the, the number of times that there, there is a really easy option to all of this and I could just say to myself okay then life would be a lot easier if you switch yourself off from the internet I you stop putting yourself out there and you stop sharing and you stop streaming because then you will have none of that feedback to you and everything will be absolutely fine and that probably is a really good answer to the problem but i don't want to do it because i think then that self-doubt has won and it's a bit like that constant battle with anxiety they it would have won and i want to push myself through it so 
hiding from it is not an answer, but learning how to react to it is probably um, really important. I think making these videos really does help. Um, it helps me put things in perspective and I'm not going to give up on this one because I want to wake up every morning and instead of thinking, what does the world think of me? I want to wake up every morning and think, this is me, you know, and the world should be ready to embrace that. So I don't think I'm up to wearing bright socks at the moment or dye my hair, but I am pushing forward with it. And I think even making this video is one step in the right direction with that. So if you have any advice or how you cope with negative comments and how you prevent them actually becoming influencing your life that I would love to hear about them in the comments below so do please spend a few seconds and let me know what you think and yeah I hope this has shared with you something that if you're suffering from this as well you're not alone and you know that together we can sort of like fight our way through this okay I'm going to finish with that famous saying that I think we all need, especially me, needs to take into account all the time. Remember to say who, say what, be who you are and say what you think. Because the people who mind don't matter and the people who matter don't mind. Have fun everyone and until the next video, I will catch you later.